Using a meat thermometer when cooking is one of the most important steps you can take to prevent foodborne illness. It will also help you ensure that the temperature you're cooking your meat to is not only safe, but delicious. Some people say that they use color as an indication of doneness. Others say touch. But I'm here to tell you that any method that doesn't use a thermometer does not work effectively to ensure safety. But before I tell you how to use a thermometer, let's talk about the recommended internal cooking temperatures for meat and poultry. Depending on the type of meat or poultry, the recommended internal cooking temperature will vary. For poultry products, either chicken or turkey, whole or ground, these should be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. For your red meats, specifically whole muscle cuts of beef, pork, lamb, or veal, steaks and chops should be cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit with then a three minute rest period. Ground beef should be cooked to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Here I have some examples of different type of thermometers you may see or use. This type of thermometer is one that can be used in a roast or a whole chicken or turkey right in the oven during the whole cooking cycle. It allows you to monitor temperature the entire time. These type of thermometers are instant read thermometers and they're a quick, easy investment for your kitchen because you can take the temperature of any meat or poultry product, whether it's in the oven or on the stove top. The problem is, is these thermometers cannot be left in the oven long term, so you need to use them very quickly and effectively. The key to any good thermometer use, though, is ensuring that they're calibrated and working properly. Now let's step over to the grill and I'll show you how to take the temperature when you're cooking meat. I think this beef steak is almost done. Remember, we're cooking this to 145 and then holding it for three minutes for its rest period. Now, the goal in taking the temperature of a steak chop is to ensure that you're getting it into the thickest part of the muscle. You can either go from the top or from the side. Now we're gonna transfer it over to a clean plate. I'm also using clean tongs. Again, we don't wanna cross contaminate. So whatever you put the raw product on, Please switch out or wash the plates and utensils. Let's take the temperature of the pork chop. Like the beef steak, we're going to cook this chop to 145 degrees with a three minute rest period. Again, we want to take the temperature in the thickest part of the chop because that's where it's likely the coldest. So you can either go down from the top or in across the side here. And again, we're looking for the, the coldest part of the chop. And as you can see, we hit our temperature. This chop is now ready to be placed on a clean plate. It'll rest for three minutes and then it's ready to eat. For poultry, remember we're cooking this turkey burger to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, we're looking for the thickest part of the burger because that's likely where the coldest spot will be. And we wanna make sure that cold spot gets to 165 degrees. You can take the temperature up top like I'm doing it or hold it out and do it through the side. This turkey burger has hit the temperature. It's now ready to eat. For ground beef, you're going to want to cook this burger to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Some people like to take the temperature from the top, which is fine. I actually prefer to do it holding it up like this and going through the top. The reason why is I think I get a little bit more control. We are looking for the thickest and coldest part of the burger because we want to ensure that section hits the proper temperature. The recommended cooking temperature for ground beef is 160 degrees. This burger is now safe to eat. This chicken breast should be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit and it's now safe to eat. So for a beef, pork, lamb, or veal roast, you want to cook the meat to at least an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit. And then allow for a three minute rest period. It is also important to note that the thermometer should be in the thickest portion to get the most accurate temperature. It's now been three minutes and this roast has been resting and is now ready to serve to your family. For whole muscle poultry, chicken or turkey, you need to cook the roast or the whole bird to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. You want to take the temperature in the thickest part of the muscle, and typically in whole birds, that's in the thigh area. You can see here where we place the thermometer. 
This thermometer can stay in the, the bird the whole cooking cycle, but you can also use an instant read thermometer to take the temperature as needed. Again, you want to cook to a minimum of 165 degrees to ensure safety. Here we have a turkey roast. And like all poultry products, this roast will need to be cooked to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's take the temperature of this roast and see if it's reached the desired temperature. Now, notice I'm using this instant read thermometer and I'm putting it in the thickest part of the muscle. As you can see, we're not at 165, so we're gonna put it back in the oven and let it cook a little bit longer. So that's the basics. You now know how to take the temperature of the meat and poultry products you're gonna cook in your home. So feel confident that when you're serving your family, your food is safe and delicious. For more food safety tips, visit meatsafety.org. And for more videos, check out our Meat News Network YouTube channel.